okay, yeah. It's actually quick. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Jeep Renegade Trailhawk. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy, Utah for giving me some time with this Renegade. Check out their inventory link below. Let's get straight into the video. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 1.3 liter four cylinder that goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 177 horsepower and then 210 pound feet of torque, with fuel economy being 22 around town and then 27 on the highway. Now let's go over the front end of the Renegade Trailhawk. So first off, you do get the blacked out decal there on the hood as part of the Trailhawk package. And then you get the blacked out Jeep badge. And then it does come standard with these halogen lights. Turn signals are just down below. And then at the very bottom, you got the fog lights. Red tow hooks are also a part of the Trailhawk package. And then also everything's pretty much been blacked out from a front end perspective. But I mean, kind of looks like a mini Wrangler in a way. Coming around the side here, we've got two 15 millimeter tires wrapped around 17 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. As for the design on the wheels, they kind of have that like off-roader type look, which makes sense because it's a Trailhawk. Notice that you've got like the blacked out bumper and the molding continues here to the fender flare, goes all the way down the side. It's kind of like this like plastic cladding on it and almost like armors the Jeep basically. Got the Renegade badge right there and you've got your trail rated badge as well. And then popping here to this full side view, notice the mirrors are blacked out and then you've got the roof rail there at the very top as well. But there's your full side view. Now let's pop into the back of the Renegade. So first off, we got this really nice cargo cover here in the rear, and then you've got the rubber floor mats here in the back as well. And then the spare tire just sits under that little storage area. And then you've got kind of like these little cubbies thing here on the side, which is definitely different. Um, but other than that, I mean, for being a small size SUV, pretty much normal storage space here in the back. And so other than that, so yeah. Now let's finish things up here in the rear of the Renegade. So we've got the signature square taillights, which again, similar to the Wrangler taillights. You got your four x four badge, your Trailhawk badge, and then you've got another red, well, let's call it a recovery hook because I know people get upset when I call it a tow hook. Um, but yeah, other than that, there's everything for the back end. Now let's go over the door panel here in the back. So you actually get this nice soft touch leather here on this part where you're actually gonna rest your arm. And then you got the door handle, which the reason I'm showing this is because, I don't know, it's kind of interesting looking. Coming to the seats here in the Trailhawk. So full cloth seats here. I love the design they did there on the seat. It actually looks like little trails, which I think is pretty neat. And then you got the red stitching as well, but let's actually pop in. So stepping in, step in height's really good. It's easy to get in and across. Headroom, you've got tons in here. And then legroom is really solid as well. Got a little USB down there and then you've got a full power outlet. And then as for this little thing, there is this little strap that helps you so you can pull that down. Got a couple cup holders and that's all for the back. Let's go over the door panel here in the front of the Renegade. So again, you've got the nice soft touch here all over the door panel. And then I love the red accenting around the speaker. You've got all of your window controls right here and then your mirror adjustment as well. And then here are the seats at the front. So you've got all cloth here in the seats. It says Trailhawk right across. And then again, you've got kind of like the trails all over the seat, red stitching, and then the seats are power adjustable. And then here's the pedal layout there at the bottom. And then up above, we've got our little light control right here. The steering wheel is manually adjustable. And there's one more look before we pop in. Let's go over the interior here on the Renegade. So first off, you got a leather wrap steering wheel and then more red stitching there on the center portion with your cruise control on this side, voice command, phone controls on the other side, then you have the controls there for the center stack. We've got a little stock there for the turn signal slash uh, brights, and then you've got your windshield wiper stock on the other side, and that's all for the steering wheel. Let's go over the center gauge cluster here. So you've got the RPMs on the left side, on the right side, you've got the speedometer, and then you do have that digital screen right there on the center portion. There are a couple different menus that you can scroll through here with the screen, just to give you different bits of vehicle information. And you can see like the radio, all that kind of stuff. Again, if you're used to like any modern product from FCA, this is gonna look very similar to you. Before we go over the infotainment system, I love this little like vent system. It almost looks like bunkers here at the top of the dash. Like I could imagine like troops like being stationed inside of these vents. I know my imagination's weird, but like that's what it looks like. Coming down below to the infotainment system, if we pop it in reverse, you've got a backup camera with trajectory lines. They do turn with the steering wheel. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, response time is actually really good. You do get heated seats and a heated steering wheel with this as well. This does come with navigation from the factory. Um, but yeah, overall, even with this little plastic wrapping on the infotainment system, it responds really well. It's easy to use and 
that's all for that. Down below, we've got our analog controls for the radio. You've got your lane departure assistance right there, dual zone climate controls here for the Renegade as well. And then you can see that you've got a little 12 volt here with a USB. And then notice we've got all of our drive modes. So you've got your auto, snow, sand, mud, rock, and then you've got your four wheel low, your four wheel lock, and then your hill descent control. I like how it's like all integrated into one area. So like if you're taking this off road, you can just go to one area to figure everything out. And then yes, it does give you a little thing here in the center when you do change into the different drive modes. It shows like the Renegade going through the different drive modes, which I don't know, I think that's a pretty neat little thing. Now here's the transmission selector for the nine speed automatic. And again, you can shift the gears yourself if you'd like. Got a parking brake here in the center with the stability control and then the auto stop start. Couple of cup holders and then more of that red trim. And then here's the center console, which Storage space in there is really good. Um, but yeah, I really like how like soft touch it is at the top. Got the grab handle over here with the red accenting around the venting. And then you guys can see storage space on the glove box really good. But yeah, that's all for that. Now let's go over things here at the top, which there's not a lot to go over. It's got a lighter colored headliner and you've got your little like light controls right there. But I mean, other than that, it's pretty simple up top. Now we're done going to the interior here on the Renegade. Let's quickly get into the pricing. So in terms of pricing, this Renegade Trailhawk stickers for about $30,000 before any type of market adjustment. That all being said, let's take her out and see how she drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off here in the Renegade Trailhawk. So first off, visibility of the hood, I mean, it's pretty good. It definitely has like this like nice flat hood, so it's easy to see the ends. There's your visibility through both the mirrors. They do have blind spot monitoring. And then here's throughout the rest of the rear, which I mean, it's pretty squared off. I'm not sure why they don't have a window in the very back though. That would be nice for visibility. But other than that, it's really good. And let's set off. So we are setting off here in the Renegade Trailhawk. And First off, let's actually talk about the maneuverability with this because again, this is supposed to be kind of like the off-road version and it's actually really good. Like it's a very small SUV, but it just kind of has this like small lightweight field. It's got really good turn and it's just easy to drive around. I guess this uh, Subaru person doesn't know. Okay, we're having one of these happening. Anyways, let's actually get up and go. So getting up and moving here with the Renegade, it's actually pretty smooth on road and the transmission's really smooth. Now, you guys know I do prefer the eight speed that they have in most of the lineup for Jeep, uh, but this nine speed still gets the job done. And I mean, it's still pretty smooth and all that. It's just not as refined as the eight speed is the best way for me to put it. Um, but getting up and going on the road though, still, I mean, it puts it right into the power band. I mean, it gets you up and moving. So like it, it does what it needs to do from a transmission perspective. And then in terms of the noise it comes through, the nice thing about this compared to like a Wrangler, for example, and I know this doesn't even compare to a Wrangler. I know I'm probably gonna make some Jeep people mad, but this is definitely more livable on a daily basis. It's smoother on road. You don't get all the crazy wind noise, all that kind of stuff. And so, hey, you do get that. And later in the video, we will be making some comparisons to the new Bronco Sport because I think that really is like this vehicle's most direct competitor, um, not only in price, but just in terms of like what it is, right? It's a kind of like baby off-roader that's supposed to look like a really cool off-roader. You've got the Bronco and the Bronco Sport. You've got the Wrangler and the Renegade. Um, but doing a minor acceleration, pretty decent. Um, you don't really feel a whole lot of turbo lag when you're doing a minor acceleration, but we're gonna go full throttle here and hopefully don't run out of fuel. Just kidding. But uh, we'll see how it kind of goes with our full blown acceleration. Okay, yeah. It's actually quick. This thing's pretty quick. That's not bad at all. Yeah, definitely, once you get like up there, like you you can definitely feel the pull with the turbos. I would say it's pretty quick. But let's get into summing things up with this and compare it to the Bronco Sport. So first off, from an exterior aesthetics perspective, I think the Renegade's still a really good looking SUV. I know, again, a lot of people compare it to like Wranglers and all that stuff. I, think, I don't think that's, I'm, from an exterior aesthetics perspective, it's, it's not really right. This is so much less expensive. Like, this is the same price as like a base, base, base model Wrangler, like a Wrangler with no AC, crank windows, like that kind of Wrangler. And th that's about how much this costs. So it's, it's kind of hard to compare them. Um, I still think it's a good looking vehicle. Now, the Bronco Sport, 
I think that looks a little bit nicer aesthetically. But the thing I'm noticing with pricing in these packages, it seems like the Bronco Sport's just a little bit more expensive than the Renegade. It seems like with the Renegade, you get a little bit more equipment and you get a little bit more equipment for less money. So value wise, um, it's a little bit nicer. But I think that it really like, if I were to choose between the two, it'd be a really tough choice. It, I think it'd come down to engines. So like if I'm getting a base model engine, I definitely prefer this setup more with the transmission and engine compared to the Bronco. But if the Bronco Sport has their two liter, I really like that engine. I like the power delivery on that. And so then I would kind of lean more towards that, but then the pricing is so much more. So it, I, I wouldn't be able to pick a winner, honestly. Like they're both really cool little like off-road SUVs that look like bigger, cooler off-road SUVs. Um, and they both have their benefits and downsides, but it, it'd be really hard to pick a choice just because this is so much less expensive uh, loaded up than a Bronco Sport. Now that is gonna sum things up for our video on this 2021 Jeep Renegade with the Trailhawk package. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy for giving me some time with this Renegade. Check out the inventory link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.